Mr. Beast, aka Jimmy Donaldson, is a legend and an inspiration on the YouTube platform. After years of dedication, hustle, and planning, if there is anyone who deserves the number one spot on YouTube, it is Mr. Beast. All the way from hilarious reaction videos of horrible YouTube intros to feats of unfathomable dedication, like saying Logan Paul's name a hundred thousand times, and breathtaking videos like the recreation of Squid Games, Mr. Beast has truly and undoubtedly been making his way up the YouTube ladder at a fast pace. Mr. Beast's story began somewhere around 2011 on his first ever channel called Mr. Beast 5 ty He was just another player of an old Flash game called Battle Pirates. But when an enemy decided to attack him, he was so shocked that he felt the need to share his experience with the world. So this is when he decided to make his channel, and he shared the clip of him getting hacked. Sure enough, the video did well, so he started uploading videos of himself playing the game quite frequently. And soon enough, they started to take off. So he quickly fell in love with YouTube and started to upload Call of Duty and Minecraft crap let's plays however on february 19 2012 his future would change forever when he would go on to create his second channel named mr b 6000 and abandon his old channel mr b's 5ty because he believed he destroyed his channel by doing subscribe for subscribe which is a method smaller youtubers use to grow their channel however it can often mess up your channel on the youtube platform because it grows an unnatural audience on his newly founded youtube channel he would do let's plays of minecraft in which he would only upload on random occasions for for about two years. After that, he would go on to upload a bunch of miscellaneous style videos like how much money does Sky does Minecraft make, how to SAT, get into Yale, and is Obama dead? Dumb Google searches for about three years. After that phase, he began to make a series titled Worst Intros, which would change his YouTube channel forever and was undoubtedly one of his funniest series in which he would pick apart horribly made YouTube intros that beginners to the platform would often make. Most of you have exams coming up and I don't want you to fail your exams because you lost all your brain cells watching Worst Intros, so just watch in moderation, okay? If you feel a little bit lightheaded, you feel a little numb somewhere, just take a break and come back later, okay? Don't fail your exams because of this. <laughs> Believe it or not, because of this series, the sales of Bleach in the last six months has actually tripled. And because Bleach is selling so rapid now, they actually gave me my own discount code. So the next time you buy Bleach, make sure you use discount code BEAST for 10% off your Bleach. And this series is when he started to gain some serious traction on the platform. These videos were not as family friendly, so Mr. Beast has since privatized the series. After amassing about 100,000 subscribers, Jimmy decided that it was time to step up his game and his content creation and create videos that would undoubtedly get people's attention, such as counting to 200,000, road to 1 mil, a video in which he would sit in his chair, record, and not leave until he counted to the number of 200,000. If that doesn't show serious dedication, I don't know what does. After Jimmy had started doing tons of similarly styled videos to that, he was quickly becoming one of YouTube's favorite and most seen YouTubers at a surprisingly quick rate. Back in 2017, it felt like almost every time you opened YouTube, a random guy by the name of Mr. Beast would appear on your recommended page. His ability to adapt and change his content is astonishing and is why he is and was so popular. Jimmy took his popularity and used it to grow his YouTube channel like a business. His content would soon go from somewhat simplistic to incredibly intricate and thought through. His videos were something that no one had ever seen before, such as can 10,000 condoms stop a bullet and giving my 4 million subscriber 4 million cookies. When Mr. Beast was posting content like this, it would be no surprise that he blew up and went to the top at the rate in which he did. After all the strong persistence and dedication, Mr. Beast is now able to make videos like I gave my 100 million subscribers subscriber in Ireland, last to take hands off a private jet keeps it, and I survived 50 hours in Antarctica. Jimmy has undoubtedly earned himself a spot in the history books. However, Jimmy's story wasn't always sunshine and rainbows. His mother, who was a single mom, served in the military for about 25 years, so during his childhood, she was not around very often. Luckily, Mr. Beast had his brother named CJ to keep him company through these times. Due to his mother's service in the military, Jimmy and his brother had to move around quite frequently, which made Jimmy somewhat of a shy kid who didn't like being around people very often. As a child, in a world of uncertainty and stress, Jimmy found solace in the intricate and endlessly fascinating world of Lego. As he meticulously crafted and built, he was consumed by a burning passion, an all-consuming intensity that was as much a part of him as the air he breathed. 
For hours on end, he would lose himself in the creation of grand, sprawling Lego City. Each brick, a piece of a puzzle that when completed, would create something truly magical. But as he grew older, Jimmy's interest shifted. He discovered a new obsession, baseball. The sport consumed him, and soon, all he could talk about and think about was baseball. The diamond was his sanctuary, the field his temple, and getting him off of it was like trying to separate a magnet from a piece of metal. Years passed, and Jimmy grew into a man. But even as he aged, his passions never wavered, and so he channeled that intensity and that all-consuming drive into something new. He found a new outlet for his boundless energy, and on that outlet, he built something truly extraordinary, his YouTube channel, Mr. Beast. And there, the world saw that his obsessions of his childhood had never truly left him. They had simply evolved, grown, and matured into something even greater. Growing up, Mr. Beast was a lonely child. He didn't have many friends and often felt like he didn't fit in. But all that changed when he met his longtime friend Chris in middle school. They bonded over their shared love for YouTube, a platform that most people at the time didn't understand or care about. For Jimmy, finding Chris felt like a miracle, a lifeline in a sea of loneliness. Chris was there from the very beginning. He was Mr. B's first subscriber, and it was Chris who encouraged Jimmy to create a YouTube channel in the first place. Chris's unwavering support and encouragement played a huge role in the success of the Mr. Beast channel, and the two have remained friends to this day. If you watch any of Mr. Beast's videos, you'll see Chris, a constant presence, by his side. They have built an empire together, and their friendship has stood the test of time, proving that sometimes all it takes is one person to change everything. The story of Mr. Beast and Chris is a testament to the power of friendship and the impact that one person can have on another's life. However, Jimmy's life soon took a turn for the worst. One day in the ninth grade, Jimmy noticed a sharp pain in his stomach, and this pain would undoubtedly change his life as he knew it. The pain started getting even more severe and he kept getting sick every day. He had finally had enough and went to the doctor and discovered that he was suffering from Crohn's disease, which is an inflammatory bowel disease that mostly hurts the digestive system. Before this diagnosis and before he received any treatments, he stated that the disease made him lose 30 pounds in one summer because of how often he was getting sick and having to remain on the toilet. Luckily for Jimmy, the doctors gave him a proper diagnosis, proper medication, and the proper diet change recommendations in order to save his life. However, Jimmy still had a very positive mindset about his disease and didn't let it affect his personality. In a video he made titled What is Crohn's Disease? Jimmy talked about his experience with the condition and stated that Crohn's isn't the worst thing ever. There are people who have way worse diseases. There are worse things than Crohn's out there, which is sometimes why I'm a little bit hesitant to talk about it or even complain about it. Through his words, we can see that Mr. Beast is a person of high character who has faced challenges head on and emerged from them stronger and more compassionate than ever before. His courage and determination are an inspiration to us all, a shining example of what it means to truly be human. He is a beacon of hope and a reminder that no matter how difficult life may seem, there is always a way to overcome it and come out on top. In the early days of his YouTube career, Jimmy had to scrape together whatever materials he could find to make the most basic equipment like a tripod. His videos were recorded on a low resolution Windows phone and a microphone that was so bad it would make the ears of his viewers bleed. In order to upgrade to a better microphone, he had to save up for months, sacrificing so much just to provide his audience with a better experience. And even then, he had to save for an entire year just to get a computer that wouldn't crash while he was editing his videos. But even though he had very limited resources, Jimmy never let that stop him from creating great content. He was determined to make the most out of what he had, and he worked tirelessly to improve his videos. And when he finally got his hands on a used iPhone from a distant relative, his content took a major leap forward with the ability to record in 1080p. He was finally able to create videos that were visually stunning, and he began to build a dedicated following. Through grit, determination, and relentless hard work, Jimmy was able to turn his passion into a successful career. His early struggles were not in vain. They were a stepping stone to where he is today, an inspiration to aspiring YouTubers everywhere, proving that with hard work and dedication, anything is possible. As Jimmy grew older and graduated high school, he knew that the traditional path of college wasn't for him. His passion and his true calling was YouTube, but he knew that his mother wouldn't let him live at home if he wasn't going to college. So with a heavy heart, he made the decision to enroll in college against his own desires, but Jimmy quickly realized that college wasn't for him. After just two weeks, he knew that he couldn't continue on that path any longer, so he made the difficult decision decision to drop out and lie to his mother about still being in school. Every day Jimmy would drive to the college campus and instead of attending class he would stay in his car 
and worked tirelessly on his YouTube videos. He knew that his true passion was creating content and building his channel, and nothing was going to stop him from pursuing that dream. His mother never really found out that he wasn't attending college until eventually when he decided he was going to tell her because he had been grinding on his YouTube channel every day for the past semester and had saved up enough money to drop out of college and move out. This would create a great turbulence in his household, as his mother totally disagreed with his choice. Jimmy and his mother got into a major disagreement, and during that disagreement, Jimmy argued that he would continue to do college if she did all of his homework. Of course, like any other mother would, she said no, and then Jimmy proceeded to argue that college made him sad and that YouTube made him happy, and then his mother proceeded to tell him that college will make him money and that YouTube will make him poor. When his mother talked back to him, Jimmy went on and stated, I'd rather be poor than do anything besides YouTube. She then forced Jimmy to move out of the house, in which he agreed and said, I'll move out tomorrow. However, Jimmy didn't take this disagreement too seriously because he realized his mother just wanted the best for him and for him to be successful, as it is hard for an old person to understand the concept of doing YouTube as a full-time career. However, after just a year of being out of college, Mr. Beast quickly surpassed 1 million subscribers and made a video where he gave his mother $100,000 and retired her. He felt as if she deserved all of the money because he had put her through poor grades and overall everything a parent doesn't want to hear come from their child. Behind the scenes, Mr. Beast was putting in unbelievable amounts of hours, effort, and sacrifice. When he was first trying to blow up his YouTube channel, a man named Adam, who worked with a company named Quid, offered him $5,000 to do a YouTube video sponsoring Quid. He then argued with Adam and told him to up the amount to $10,000. Adam was shocked and thought he was crazy until he heard Jimmy's genius plan, which was to give it all away to a homeless man instead of keeping it all for himself. And he almost knew for a fact that this video idea would go viral. And he was right. The video was an immediate overnight success and was a kickstarting moment where Jimmy's career really started to take off. While also doing all of these crazy videos, he would hop on a Skype call with fellow small YouTube creators and sit there all day researching things like do darker or brighter thumbnails attract more viewers and overall how to blow up their YouTube channels. He would do this almost every day for about two to three years and it is very clear that it paid off. What separates Mr. Beast from most creators is his incredible work ethic and it is why he is the most subscribed to YouTuber as of January 2023. After all of his tribes and tribulations, Mr. Beast went on to do one of the biggest charitable events known to man. The name of this event was called Save the Trees, and for every dollar someone donated to the charity, Mr. Beast and his team would plant one tree. He went on to raise $24 million and planted over 20 million trees in the ground. This charity is still active, and you can still donate to this day if you go to teamtrees.org. However, that was not Mr. Beast's only endeavor of charity. He did a similar charity called Team Seas, where where he aimed to raise 30 million dollars in order to clean 30 million pounds of trash out of the ocean. He was yet again successful with this endeavor and has so far removed 33 million pounds of trash out of the ocean. He also owns a YouTube channel called Beast Philanthropy where he makes videos about helping people in need and overall just giving back to the community. So it is very clear that Mr. Beast is an amazing guy, but he has dabbled himself in a fair bit of controversy for numerous reasons. It all started when one of Mr. Beast's ex-employees named Matt Turner uploaded a video to titled, My Experience Editing for Mr. Beast, Worst Week of My Life. This video would set a dreadful trend of old Mr. Beast employees attempting to expose him to gain attention online. However, all the claims they would make were often poorly thought through and all around just dramatic exaggerations in order to get their quick fix of fame. In Matt Turner's video, he would go on to make claims that Mr. Beast would bully and be overly harsh towards him for things like simple editing mistakes. Even though a year prior to that video, right after he stopped working for Mr. Beast, he made a video about how much he loved Mr. Beast and how Mr. Beast paid for his rent while he was working for him in South Carolina, and how he still considered Mr. Beast a friend right after leaving the channel. Additionally, many of Mr. Beast's previous editors came out to support Mr. Beast, stating that Mr. Beast had never mistreated them and that he had always been kind hearted, so it is very obvious that Matt Turner was just asking for views and attention at that point. This brings us to the next and most interesting exiting of a Mr. Beast employee by far. His name was Marcus Pearson, and many have speculated that he was on drugs at the time of his leave due to his very strange behavior. When he was first introduced to the channel, he seemed like a kind-hearted and energetic young man. 
many of Mr. Beast's audience enjoyed watching him, however his true colors were yet to be unveiled. When Marcus had been removed from the Mr. Beast YouTube channel, he went on to Instagram in order to make an attempt at destroying Mr. Beast, where he would go on to make unreasonable claims such as Mr. Beast started the pandemic and that Mr. Beast is a broken person. Many people just brushed these claims off because they were way too insane to be true. And if any of these stories have anything in common, it's that trying to expose nice people such as Mr. Beast for attention and views usually never works and will almost always backfire. When it comes to Mr. Beast's personal life, he is a very private and modest person. He does not necessarily live the lifestyle of the typical ultra-rich man. Jimmy doesn't keep most of his money, he instead circulates it back into his YouTube channel in order for it to grow. Even though he stated this multiple times, you can literally just tell because of the amazing quality content in his videos, and the fact that he has a ginormous $10 million warehouse dedicated just to making YouTube videos. His production efforts are comparable to Hollywood movie firms, and if not better, and his Squid Game recreation video, he spent nearly $4.2 million in several months of his time. He also made a Willy Wonka Island video where he successfully recreated Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. Keep in mind, he does all of that just for individual videos, whereas compared to when he just started, he used to just screen record himself playing Minecraft. And this warehouse is so big, it looks like a factory for Tesla or some other crazy industry giant. He also lives pretty much full time in his warehouse. Yes, he does in fact sleep in his office. With this level of dedication, I wouldn't be surprised if he would eventually have enough money to buy YouTube, kind of like how Elon Musk bought Twitter. Mr. Beast is running and growing his YouTube channel like a Fortune 500 company, and he is quite the businessman for someone who has never run a business prior to his YouTube channel. As far as Mr. Beast's love life goes, he is quite the ladies man, and has had a few girlfriends all throughout his career, and is currently, as of January 2023, in a relationship with an author named Thea Boyson. Because Mr. Beast is a private person, not very much is known about about their relationship, so it is hard to really say anything about it. Remember when we mentioned Mr. Beast's brother CJ? Well, Mr. Beast actually tried to give him a platform. In January 28th of 2017, CJ created a channel named Mr. Bro. Jimmy made a video where he encouraged everyone who watched his videos to go subscribe to Mr. Bro, and which a lot of them did, and for a short period of time, he even made videos that were very similar and cut and paste to his brother's content. He even had some of Mr. Beast's employees and friends' brothers join him in making content. It was almost like Mr. Beast from a different planet. However, he would go on for about two years until eventually, on June 5th of 2021, he would stop uploading. If you check his channel now, he has rebranded his name to CJ These Days. And his channel About Now page says, Just a dude who likes making IRL videos. So maybe we can expect some different IRL styled videos from CJ, or just original content in general coming from him in the future. Although the image of Mr. Beast's channel is based mainly on him, he could not have done it by himself. In fact, he has a team of over 100 employees helping him make his videos. However, for people behind the scenes, Mr. Beast didn't really have any employees until about 2017, when he would hire an editor to edit his videos because he was so tired of editing and he realized that his true passion was just to make the videos. But this editor worked in Jimmy's bedroom at home with a table that Jimmy had set up, and he would watch him the entire time he edited because Mr. Beast wanted to make sure everything was done perfectly and the way he wanted it to be done. Looking back on this, Mr. Mr. Beast said, I probably shouldn't have done that, but I was a teenager and I didn't know any better. Mr. Beast hiring his employees is when his videos really started to take off, because instead of doing all the nitpicky or tedious work, he could focus more of his energy on actually coming up with creative ideas and directing videos for his channel, which is honestly how most successful people end up operating their business or passions. Looking at how Mr. Beast directs and comes up with amazing ideas for his YouTube channel is actually quite interesting. He basically models his videos off of human nature and however long people are likely to say watching the video due to their attention span. He takes into account the fact that TikTok, YouTube Shorts, and Instagram Reels have all significantly reduced people's attention span, and he frames his videos off of this fact. His theory is that in order to make a good video, something new must constantly be happening throughout the video in order to keep people engaged. That is why when you watch a Mr. Beast YouTube video, there will be so many different things going on all at once, and it's all because of you. He does that so you will stay watching the 
video until the end. And one of his methods for coming up with crazy YouTube ideas was by lucid dreaming. Yes, you heard me right. He would literally lucid dream and come up with ideas in his dreams and wake himself up in the middle of the night and write these ideas down on a sheet of paper that he had right next to his bed. Mr. Beast said that it's kind of hard not to dream about YouTube when it's what you think about 24-7 every waking hour of the day. However, he only used this method early on in his career and now has hundreds of ideas saved up by brainstorming with his team. And as far as Mr. Beast's life goes outside of YouTube, YouTube really is his life. He only takes a break about once every two weeks. Other than that, he lives, eats, and breathes YouTube. Speaking of eating, Mr. Beast owns two food companies. The first one is Beast Burger, which is an online restaurant that has partnered up with multiple random restaurants all around the US in order to deliver Mr. Beast's favorite styled burgers to people on platforms like DoorDash and Uber Eats. His other company is called Feastables, which is a candy company that sells chocolate bars Mr. Beast has made to his liking. He claimed that he is going to build these brands up and then sell them and put all the profits into an incredible YouTube video. Speaking of incredible YouTube videos, one of Mr. Beast's favorite and hardest to make videos was one of the videos mentioned earlier, the Team Trees video, where he spent 6 to 7 months organizing the video and project, while also working with other creators like Mark Rober in order to plant 20 million trees. Mr. Beast and Mark Rober had struggled endlessly trying to figure out how to plant 20 million trees until eventually Mr. Beast and his team got in contact with the Arbor Day Foundation, which is a foundation that has planted over 100 million trees and ended up up agreeing to help them plant 20 million trees. It gave great publicity to the Arbor Day Foundation and Mr. Beast, so it was a win-win for the both of them. Mr. Beast is known for his attention to detail in creating videos. He has a whole collection of videos that have never really been released on YouTube as he believes they would not be well received despite the effort, money, and resources he invested in them. One of these unreleased videos is of an experiment where he created 10 different banks and his employees had to rob each of them, with only one of them containing a cash surprise. I don't know about you, but this still seems like a pretty interesting video to me, and the fact he didn't think it was good enough is a good showcase of the level of care and attention Mr. Beast puts into his videos. And as far as Mr. Beast's future YouTube ventures go, he's going to continue to work on his main channel and overall brand, and plans to double his warehouse space and build about 20,000 square feet of office space for all of his current and future employees. He stated that his dream for the YouTube channel is to continue to upload consistently and to be able to produce amazing and never seen before videos twice a week forever. In the event of his untimely demise, Mr. Beast has devised a plan that speaks to his entrepreneurial spirit and his desire to leave a lasting legacy. He has requested that his dear friends Chandler, Carl, and Chris stand vigil by his coffin, each placing a hand upon it as a symbol of their bond and their shared history. And as the final moments of this vigil approach, a competition of sorts unfolds. As the individual who maintains their hand upon the coffin the longest shall be the inheritor of Mr. Beast's vast YouTube empire along with all the power, prestige, and potential that it represents. It is a fitting tribute to a man who lived and breathed the digital age, and is a testament to the enduring bonds of friendship. I hope that this video has served as an inspiration to all of you, showcasing the incredible journey of Mr. Beast and the boundless possibilities that can be achieved through hard work, determination, and perseverance. As you have seen, Mr. Beast has had to overcome many obstacles and challenges on his path to success, but he never let them defeat him. Instead, he used them as fuel for his ambition and as a catalyst for his growth. I encourage you to take inspiration from his story and to never give up on your own dreams. If you enjoyed watching this video, remember to like, subscribe, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a future upload. And if there's anyone else you would like to see a video done on, please let me know in the comments below. Have an amazing month, and I wish all of you the best of luck on your own journey of success.